Want to turn your passion for drawing into a full-time career? Discover our courses at BrushCamp where you become a master in the realm of digital painting. BrushCamp offers tons of similar courses in illustration, 2D, 3D design. Level up your creativity with free knowledge and courses. Visit BrushCamp.com today and explore endless possibilities. Hello everyone, I'm Dee. I will accompany you in the Adobe Illustrator design course. Before starting the lesson, I will briefly introduce MacOS and Windows operating systems. My computer is Windows operating system, so my shortcuts will be different from those of the MacOS operating system. This is a comparison table. The word Win key on the Win's keyboard will be the command button on the Mac's keyboard. The Alt button will be the option button on the Mac's keyboard. And the Control button will still be the Control button. It's a different way of writing. But the Shift button will still be the Shift button. It's just different from the Alt button and Winky. Those who use the keyboard on MacOS pay attention to these things. To be able to use this tool, you need a Creative Cloud account. After you have an account, you will install the necessary tools that you will use, the Adobe Illustrator tool, after you have installed it. You will choose a version suitable for your device. It has versions from 2021, 2022, 2023 and recent new versions, it will not have too much difference in interface. So you just choose a version that suits your device. After the installation is done, I will open it. This is the first interface when you open this Illustrator tool. We will learn how to create a working page. Click New File. Then you click Create. A new work page will be created. Then you select File and choose New or its shortcut is CTRL plus N. Then you can create new document panel. For you to adjust the parameters and color mode. First of all, this board can be resized to whatever size you want. It has templates, you can choose these templates. It's preset for you. The first is the recent panel, which is the pages that you used recently. It will save and you just need to click on it to use it again. And here is save, which are pages with special parameters you can create and save. When you need, just click and use. Mobile for phones, website design on phones. Web, websites for PC. Print our products about printing. Film and video is easy to understand. Art and illustration for drawing. I will choose any size. A ready-made template like a poster. You can see to measuring units that are length and height. Units are in points. If you want to change the unit, click on the points box. It will have a few other units and depending on the nature of the work and the purpose you do it. You can convert other units. Here are the vertical artboards and the horizontal artboards. And here is the number of artboards that you will create. Artboards is the work page, the page you are working on. This size you can highlight it and type the number. 1296. And the bleed board is for creating a safe workplace. This is for printing and drawings are not needed. With color mode. RGB color is for when you want to create products to post on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Or draw related products. If you post on those social media platforms, let RGB color. If the sketch is used to make motion or advertising, then you choose RGB. It is for media production and is not printed. CMYK is for printed products. About raster effects, this is the quality of the image you output. It will depend on what you output for. To post you should choose high quality, as for printing. It depends on the size that you print to choose the appropriate quality. I will choose this. About preview mode, many times you choose the wrong preview mode. So when you are working, it will change the interface. If you have an error, please check it again. Remember to select default, and then you click create. After you have created a workspace, 
to type out the necessary tools for beginners. Those are the tools I use repetitive. I'll type it out and put it aside here. Make it easy to use, why is it on the right side? Because when using the mouse, we often hold it with our right hand, so we should leave it here for easy manipulation. And if you are left-handed, you can drag to the left. To turn off unnecessary tools, you will pull it out and click X. You can see below that I used the tool so that you can see my actions when I use any of those shortcuts. You can see what keys I use, what tools I am using. Sometimes I operate too fast, you can't see it. Then you can stop the video and see what command I use. Earlier I showed you how to turn it off by pulling it out. Click X. The second way, you right click and choose close. If you want to turn off this tab or group tab, click close group tab. Done. I will guide you to call out the tool boards that I often use. Select window then choose the color panel. In color, there is a color guide. If you don't use color guide, turn it off. Click close. The next one is layer. Layer table. I will turn it off. Choose window. This pathfinder panel is pretty important. Transform we don't use, turn it off and align doesn't use it too. Next is transparency. These two boards are almost the same size. You should put it together in one table. If you don't use the stroke panel, turn it off. I drag this here so it becomes a group tab. And you drag here it will turn blue like that. Drop it in and it will become a group. The next one, open the properties tool. In type there is the character tool. It will be related to how you will manipulate the word. Then you will use this tool, in which it has paragraph and open type. If we don't use these two, turn them off. I will open the artboards panel. Let's turn this tool off. I will put artboards with layer. I will put it in a group. This color I will put it at the top. If you leave it like that then when you move it, just move one by one. If you want to prolong such as tree or big table, you can drag it in and leave it below until it shows blue, then release the mouse. Doing the same with Pathfinder and Transparency. We put the character panel in Properties. Then drag it and drop it here. When we move it, the entire toolbar will be moved. And if we move it in the middle, it will be dragged out. You should press and hold at the top of the bar to move. I'll drag it in here until it shows blue like that, then release. I have acquired some important tools that I use often. You can make the layer long or short. You click in the middle of this and stretch it. And similar to color if you want to be long, stretch it out. You can choose the color. OK. There is a very important toolbar and it is located above. It is an extremely important toolbar. While you perform operations on some objects, it will display the tools related to that tool. I'll open that panel it will be control. And you click on it, it will show a tool panel here. After you have created your own workspace and have the tools that you often use, you will set a name for this workspace. 
you will go to Window and select Workspace and New Workspace. You will set a name for your workspace. For example, I will create a workspace named Flat at Design 1. For instance, while working, we change or delete something, remove some tools, and shuffle the tables. We messed up everything. We want to open it back to the original workspace that we created. We will go to Window. Select Workspace and select Reset Flat at Design 1. It will return to the original one that I created. Or you go to a new page, go to File, select New and click Create. Here too, it also uses the workspace you created. If you want to use a different workspace, here it has workspaces. You can choose any one, for example web. It will have settings for web tools. Choose go to window, click workspace, then select layout. It will have tools dedicated to layout. Go to windows and select workspace. Essentials is the initial default and also the most basic one. It's pretty much the same as what I did. You just need to go to Workspace and select Flat at Design 1 to return to the original workspace. It will go back to the one we installed to work on this illustrator. You need to know some basic zoom tools, basic moving tools. To move, you press Space. Dragging Mouse Dragging mouse, it will move to the area you want. Dragging mouse and space press. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, hold CTRL then press the plus sign to zoom in and the minus sign to zoom out. The plus sign on the keyboard is also an equal sign. So it will show up on the tool as an equal sign. You can press the minus or plus sign. Or you can press the number pad on the right hand side. It has plus and minus signs. That's the first way to zoom in and zoom out. The second way is to hold down the Alt button and roll the mouse. Scroll forward to zoom in, scroll back to zoom out. Those are two groups of operations to move zoom in. Zoom out during your working process. That's all the knowledge that you need to grasp in this first lesson to be able to familiarize yourself with the Illustrator interface first. In the next lesson, I will introduce you to the tools and how to use them. Thank you and goodbye everyone. Please like and subscribe to our channel.